This is what it's about, right? Is it, uh, does it remind you of something? It reminds you of this, right? One's a swab, one's a Q-tip. It's actually different. It's very sophisticated, actually. But it's a little bit like, so this is the swab. Two days ago, President Trump announced that he would invoke the Defense Production Act to compel companies to make more of the specialized synthetic swabs that we need to test people for the coronavirus. Swabs like the long one he held up at Sunday's show. He didn't mention anyone by name, but he was talking about Puritan Medical Products. It's a privately held company that's a major player in the swab space. Then yesterday, the president's trade advisor, Peter Navarro, argued this would actually help Puritan because it would allow the federal government to give them financial support. Although so far, it's still not clear whether the Defense Production Act has officially been invoked. Either way, Puritan Medical is expected to ramp up production with the goal of making 20 million specialized swabs per month, up from 3 to 4 million right now. I keep telling you we need more testing, which means we need a lot more swabs. So are they up for the challenge? Let's check in again with Timothy Teblett. He's Puritan's Medical Products Executive Vice President of Global Sales. You get a better sense of the situation. Mr. Teblett, welcome back to Mad Money. Good afternoon, Jim. All right. So, Timothy, where are we with the government? How many more are you able to produce? And is the Defense Production Act helpful to your uh, activities? It is a partnership between Puritan and the government. It's a really a very, very nice thing, actually. It will allow us to build um, a, a great amount of capacity within hopefully five to six weeks to supply a minimum of 20 million swabs uh, per month and up to almost 50 million swabs per month. How are you going to be able to do it in just a few weeks like that? A lot of main ingenuity, Jim. Um, we are working with a very large construction company called Chimbro, who is very familiar with um, construction. They have a building that's about 40 miles south of our facility. They have, they're going to put a lot of time and people at it. And we have uh, two outside builders to build the uh, machine parts for, for us to do the assembly here in Maine. Um, and it's, they want it in five to six weeks, and we're up for the challenge. Now, uh, currently... Uh, when you're when you're designated defense production, does that mean that everything stays in our country and that if someone wanted your swabs, they you'd have to say no to them uh, from overseas? I'm unfamiliar with that that particular part of it. Uh, what what will happen, Jim, is that this is a whole other plan that will make one swab only. We continue to make all the swabs here that we make currently, um, and we've been shipping to the government for the last couple of weeks many millions of swabs. So. This is an adjunct to the capacity that we currently have, not only for the government, but for the, our standard customers. So let's talk about the workers that you can get. I, there's so many people who are unemployed in this country. Are some people getting jobs at Puritan? Yes, they are. We've hired uh, almost 50 people in the last three weeks. The new plant will take 130 people. And then we go into an, a full, full bore automation scheme once we're up and running to, uh, to then try to, to adjust the employees uh, downward a little bit so we can be much more efficient and do things much quicker. Now, at one point, we heard uh, Governor Cuomo talking about how he didn't want states bidding against each other for ventilators. Will all of yours be given to FEMA, which will then distribute? Or is it governor to governor and a governor could call you and say, listen, we're in a jam and uh, we'd like this month's allocation? No, I mean, I, I believe that what's happening is, is that the government is, is, is assuring that there's enough capacity of swabs to be shipped uh, around the United States, but also support some of the other companies that use swabs in their point of care diagnostic test kits today, um, as well as, you know, lab, in, independent laboratories. Do you uh, foresee a world where I could drive to my local uh, parking lot of a mall that is usually empty these days and there'll be uh, some tents there and someone can uh, uh, give me a Puritan swab. I can insert it and get back and, and maybe find out quickly whether I've got it so I can go about my way. Yeah, I believe that technology is there today. Abbott Laboratories has a rapid point of care test kit that uses a foam swab. Um, we Today we shipped, uh, I think, I don't know, 60, 70,000 swabs to Rite Aid for their testing on, on site. Um, there's a lot of activity that going on with the government, with Puritan, and and the, the numbers are moving out every week. This week we will we will have sold or shipped uh, 1.5 million swabs, flock swabs, and foam swabs uh, out of Puritan to not only the government but also to all individual states in the United States. So this sounds like a, just in a very short period of time, uh, when we hear that we need testing, 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 Puritan has risen to the call. Even though you're you're, you're not a large public company, you're able to deliver when called upon. Well, we're we're nimble. 
we're, we're family owned, we're nimble, we're in Maine. Um, the support that we have from this, the large construction company is going to help us build the facility or build out the facility. They're all about it. They love challenges. And it's all about let's get going. Were you surprised to see uh, on Sunday that the president held up two Q-tips and there proudly was a Puritan right in the middle? Well, you know, I saw it after the fact, so I didn't see it the day he did it. But, uh, yeah, we are proud of that. You know, Puritan is an American-made company um, in Maine, and we're proud of all of our employees and the hard work that's been going on since the last time we spoke. And uh, we're just pumping swabs out and we're living the dream. And, oh, I know old friend Peter Navarro. I've known him for many, many years. He was tough on 3M. I think he had to be. But I imagine the conversations with uh, him and you, which I know are, are private, but, but they're productive in the sense that he just wants you to have as much capacity as possible. Right. And, and you know, this, this, this era now, it will put many millions of swabs in the marketplace over the next few months. And and we're not going to stop. And we have we have the where for all to make many, many hundreds of millions of swabs. And this is a this is I said, we're living the dream. We're going to make it happen for the United States. So is the uh, supply chain now uh, better than it was when we saw last? Because I know that we were concerned that you could get everything together. No, it is much better now. It's, it's uh, a little bit more organized. We know uh, the many millions are going out each month to many of our customers. It's a well-oiled machine and they need more and we're going to provide more for them. Well, look, I want to thank you for everybody for for uh, getting us back to work and for putting people to work, too, in a uh, terrific situation. That's Timothy Templet, executive vice president of global sales at Puritan Medical Products. Thank you so much, sir. Great to see you. Thank you, Jim. Have a nice evening. Thank you. See, good things happen. Mid money's back here to the break. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.